I got to follow that. And I got to follow them. You know what I told those Blevins boys when they came off the podium? I said, I didn't ask your permission, but I spiritually adopted every one of you. Hallelujah. Somebody asked me, Steve, I need a little stand, a strong one, one that won't fall like that one did one time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, Lord. I just love these musicians. Let's give a big round of applause for these fantastic musicians. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something, folks. I am so excited. You think you've seen me excited. But those Blevins boys and this couple just left the podium just got me ready to almost take off. I mean, I couldn't get much happier. I'd be translated. Hallelujah. And I'm going to, you know, I had somebody ask me since we've been here at the convention. Said, Brother Smitty, you talk about Jesus so much. Are you one of those Jesus-only people? I said, no, I don't have nothing to do with that group. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm a Jesus mostly. Because it, I'm not a Jesus only, but I'm a Jesus mostly. But what for him, I wouldn't know this born-again salvation, and I wouldn't know that second blessing of being blessed with the Holy Ghost. I want to make a little commercial. My darling and I purposed in our heart that we were going to come to Branson. And it looked like there was no way we were going to get to. But we prayed and we believe God. We have a little saying in our house, where God guides, he provides. So I had the car serviced. We washed our clothes and got everything ready. And a call came from another state. The brother said, I requested something from you, Brother Smitty, from one of the other conventions. You sent it to me, but I asked for the wrong thing. My pastor wanted something else you did. Could you send it to me? And I said, yes, I will. He said, I can't go to the convention, and I want to. My heart sent it. But he said, while I was praying this morning, he said, God put you and Janine's face in my face. He said, I need to send you a little money to help you go. He said, but the post office is going to be closed for the holiday, and I'm afraid you won't get it until the convention's over. Is there some way I can get it to you? And I said, well, a CGA member called me one time, was stranded in a big city with a breakdown, and said, Smitty, I trust you and Janine's praying, and I want you to pray for me because I'm stranded. And I had $132 in the checking account, and God spoke to me and said, Send him $100. And I said, brother, can I send it Western Union? He said, you have a Walmart in your town? I said, yes. He said, you can go to Walmart and send a Walmart money gram. And I said, I'll be on my way as soon as I hang up the phone. It cost me $12 to send him the $100, so I, I didn't out of the 132 I had about 18 to 20 I, I'm a good mathematician, but that isn't important. And I told this brother that was wanting to help us come to Branson, I said, you have a Walmart there? He said, yes. I said, you can go there and send me a money gram. He said, okay. He said, the Lord put it in my spirit and send you $125. I went to Walmart, and there was $150 there. So after he talked to me, and I thanked him for being obedient to God, the Lord spoke to him and told him to send $150. So we had enough money with that to buy gas, and we had purposed in our heart to go through Virginia and visit some people that needed prayer and needed some encouragement, and we needed that encouragement. We went there. We stayed in a pastor's home in a room that he speaks. He calls it his shepherd's room. We slept there. And when we got there, on the dressing table was an envelope and a bottle of my favorite aftershave. And there was a nice package there with every kind of, I don't know, some real, I know it's pretty expensive, Toilet articles for a lady with Janine's name on it. There was an envelope, and he came in, he said, and on the mirror over the dresser 
was welcome Smith and Janine to the pastor's, uh, to the shepherd room. And he said, this is clergy appreciation week, and there was another check for $100. Glory to God, hallelujah. So we're here by faith. Somebody asked me, didn't you put up any of Janine's books this time? And I said, no. Uh, I've hauled around a big box of them, and the last convention, we didn't sell one book, so I wasn't going to haul a big box of books around from Florida. But I did put a little box of them in the car, and that would help buy a lot of gas back to Florida. They're $12, and it, when you look at the title, 3 plus 2 equals 1, she did go to school. That's not a, a mathematical equation that proves itself, 3 plus 2. But God the Father, God the Son, and Holy Spirit plus 2, a couple, ordained by God in marriage equals 1. You become one flesh. This is all about our lives. Nearly about everything you'd want to know about Smith and Janine's in here. So if you desire one, there's no display on any of the benches here. But if you'll see Janine, she's got a little box over there, and I think there's 15 or 20 of them in it. So praise God. So I'm going to do something that I haven't tried in years. I'm going to show you a little book. When I led the Christian Layman Quartet, about 61, 62, about 50-some years ago. This book's 55 years old. And Janine typed the songs in it for my practice sessions. And led that group for about 10 years. I'm the only one of them left. Our, our bass singer played a, Leb, a Gibson Les Paul guitar with less than 100 serial number. He was struck by lightning and taken out of this world. I was in a school in Waco, Texas, and they held up the memorial service so I could come home and be a pallbearer. His name was Larry Roloff. He was spirit-filled. I saw him stop and hold up his hand and cry and pray over what we were singing and wet a spot on the carpet big as a man's hat. Larry Roloff was one of the most wonderful young men I've ever known in my life. My lead singer was Harold Wallace. Harold Wallace was a five-year, million-dollar roundtable robber with Prudential Life Insurance Company. My lead singer was Bob Outlaw. I just went to his memorial service about two months ago. And Bob was the regional manager of Western Southern Life Insurance Company, and I was a banker. I got nicknamed the Singing Banker. 84 Lumber Company, a franchise dealership, wanted to make LP, those big 33 plastic records, but we, they, wanted, they wanted us to advertise, or he wanted us to advertise for him. And I said, we don't advertise nothing but God. We turned him down. The only thing that we could record on back then was reel to reel, and you know, the tapes were brittle. And I took it to my friend who's a good musician, and he took the old reel to reel and tried to make a practice session of three songs that we were practicing, and it's skippy. That's the only recording that I have. It's that little skippy reel to, uh, he made a cassette out of it, and I took the cassette and transposed it onto a CD. I'm telling you a lot, I don't make any excuses about my excitement. If you haven't, if you haven't got a hold of God enough to get excited, I said the other night you could lose it and not even miss it. But I'm excited and I'm going to stay excited as long as I got breath. And I'm not going to retire, I'm going to retread and refire. Hallelujah. And I wouldn't even try this, I wouldn't touch it with a hundred foot pole if it wasn't for these fantastic musicians. And, and, and pray for me because these blinding lights up here, it's hard for me to see. But I'm going to try one, and Richard, my wife asked Richard's wife when they were in Florida, and he wrote that song about freezing in Florida, because it was frigid cold. She said, is there anything Richard can't play? And she said, if there is, I've never heard it or seen it. And so I showed this to Richard. He said, yeah, I remember. It's called God is God. And I want some of you who've been sitting a long time to stand up. And I want you to pray for Smith that I can sing it, because this is a past tempo, and everything you've ever heard me try to sing has been slow. So praise God. And I want you to clap, and I want some excitement to excite my exciter even more. Hallelujah. God on the platform. He's God at the door. He's God in the amen corner. He's God all over the floor. I know God. And God will never change. I know God. And He always will be God. He's God all over the ocean. He's God all over the sea. 
He's God all over creation. He's God all over me. I know God. And my God never change. I know God. And he always will be God. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God way up in heaven. He's God way down in my soul. I know God. Well, curse, do you know God? If you know him like I do, you can dance in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God way up in heaven. He's God way down in my soul. I know God. And my God never change. I know God. And he always will be God. I just got to do a little more. He's God all over the ocean. He's God all over the sea. He's God in the amen corner. He's God all over me. I know God. And if you don't know this God, I challenge you to come and see me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I just praise my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, on this earth Jesus trod, I know God. And God don't never change, I know God. And he always will be God. You can sit and cry, you can sit and laugh. You can't do what the devil says. He'll feed you all the chance. Oh, hallelujah. I told that couple. I told that couple that sang before I came up here. I said, if I was any happy, I'd be translated. Hallelujah. I keep it. Let's do a song together. Oh, glory, hallelujah, praise of the wonderful name. Glory, hallelujah, aren't you glad he came? I know God. God don't never change. I know God. And he always 